For my summer project, I'm going to be doing a data analysis of women diagnosed with primary breast cancer between 1979 and 2011. And I'm going to be analyzing their survival by deprivation status, by morphologic type of the tumor, and by their NHS region. My summer project in detail it involves um, analyzing data, a large data set of more than a million individuals. This data set is anonymized and is provided by the Cancer Survivor Group of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And this is actually an opportunity to work on a very large data set like we're going to see in practice, in which we're going to draw conclusions from observational data, which is data which is collected routinely from hospitals and clinics. And we're trying to draw conclusions which, we can, which can later on affect um, policy. So it's actually like very good practice for the kind of work we're going to be doing as an epidemiologist, as analyzing large data sets and drawing up conclusions from what you observe in practice. I've just come back from Johannesburg where I was for a month for my summer project. Um, my project in particular is looking at the new HIV prevention method, which is pre-exposure prophylaxis, and that means giving HIV treatment to HIV negative persons um, to try and prevent infection. So in this particular setting, it's giving HIV treatment to HIV negative female sex workers with the aim of averting infections. My particular project is um, doing predictive modelling to try and estimate whether it will be effective in preventing infections in female sex workers, um, considering issues of adherence and the underlying HIV risk to these female sex workers. My model that I'm creating is going to be used as a tool for the programme to guide and steer the programme as it goes along. I determined this particular project in conjunction with my tutor because my particular interest in infectious diseases is HIV and not being a medic, my, this, the area that I can help in particular is in prevention from a public health point of view. So we sought to create a project that would get me to work on HIV prevention in sub-Saharan Africa, which is my particular area of interest, and um, to use my modelling skills from my mathematical background. And this particular project came up because the school has many projects around the world that it partners with, and the sex worker project in Johannesburg is an already established connection, and they were happy to host me for the summer. All being well, there will be a publication on the back of my uh, summer project as it's hopefully an area that hasn't quite been tackled yet and there are possibilities that the project may be extended maybe for a PhD um, and in any case it's an excellent and interesting platform from which to continue research or, or work in HIV prevention in high-risk groups. I'm doing my MSc project by analysing an existing data set on examining the relationship between marital transitions and a change in quality of diet. A marital transitions is, could be when you're going from being single to being married or married to div divorced and that what that, how that affects your quality of diet. My summer project is done in Cambridge so two, three, four times a week I commute from London to Cambridge where I meet at my supervisor, which is a PhD student and a professor at a research center. At the moment, I hypothesize that men living in a relationship have higher quality of higher food quality, while it's the opposite for women. But still, it's, it's too early to say, and I'm looking forward to, to analyze this, and it will be interesting to see what it is. My course project was three months in Sierra Leone where I did a mixed method uh, research so with a qualitative component and a quantitative component looking at the type of um, interactions between humans and rodents because a rodent, a one species of rodents in Sierra Leone and Western Africa um, transmits Lassa fever. I was trying to characterize um, the interactions between humans and that species of rodent to determine the risk factors and exactly how this could influence or how this could impact um, control measures or sensitization messages. This is an ongoing project with uh, the University of Berlin and Hamburg and the University of Sierra Leone and Conakry. 
and it's a multidisciplinary research project involving anthropologists, um, doctors, veterinarians, virologists, and epidemiologists. And they had a meeting at the London School um, a few m in September last year. And there they gave us some lectures about Lassa fever and about the project. So I went to talk with one of them, and they then invited me to do my master's dissertation with them in the anthropology part. So that's how I heard about it. And then I went through, I had to find a supervisor at the veterinary college and one supervisor at the school of the London School. And then we went through ethic, ethical approval. And then after a lot of emailing, I finally managed to go to Sierra Leone.